In my Gran Turismo HDR settings video, I promised you a list for the PlayStation 5 HDR calibration menu in regards of how many clicks does it take or does it need to reach a certain amount of maximum peak brightness. And we know that 14 clicks is around 800 candela, which fits my LG ZX just perfectly. But what about TVs with a much higher output, let's say 1500 nits? How many clicks do I need now? And I have to apologize because I know that I already mixed up nits and candela, but not really mixed up because nits and candela are exactly the same, just a different name. One nits is exactly like one candela, okay? But okay, keep this in mind, I will do this much more often in this video because I'm very used to use candela actually instead of nits. Anyway, on TVs with HGIG support as on the OLED TV here, what I'm using LG ZX, it is very easy to set up the PlayStation 5 calibration menu because all what we have to do is actually, we have to increase the sun until we can't see it at all, okay? So don't follow the instruction. So we don't want to see the sun at all, which means 14 clicks on my LG ZX. And for the same or for the next page, it's exactly the same, 14 clicks until I can't see the sun. And on the third screen, we don't want to see the sun at all. So make sure this is actually grayed out. That means you're on the on zero actually. And that's what we like to have on an OLED screen. Then you press OK and then HDR is set up. And now, if you like, now you can actually change this setting to dynamic tone mapping on, off or H kick of course. Do not, and I like to repeat myself here, do not set up the PlayStation 5 calibration menu with dynamic tone mapping off or on because this will lead to complete wrong values. And if you're now going to ask for some explanation on the Xbox Series HDR calibration menu or a similar list what I'm going to provide you for the PlayStation 5, there is actually no need to because the Xbox Series has actually a very nice feature and all what you have to do is you have to press all the four shoulder buttons at the same time and then you get a very nice information screen here which explains everything what you need to know. Please keep in mind that I do not own a $30,000 reference screen which would make this video much easier. What I had to do is I had to set up this calibration menu, jump out of it, start the game, in this case Gran Turismo 7, yeah, take my screenshots on a certain track, analyze the screenshot and yeah, put the value in the table and then do it again with one click ahead. Okay, so I had to do this a couple of times. And if you actually appreciate the work and the effort I put in in this video, then do me a favor, like, subscribe and share my content. Thank you very much. Enough talking, here's the list what we are all waiting for and you have now exactly 20 seconds to memorize this list because in the next video there will be a test. Okay, my friends, that's it for this video. And I hope this list is very useful for you, for people that don't have HGIG support on their TV. Just use those steps to have, yeah, a more or less very accurate level of adjustment on your PlayStation 5. Because again, it is very important for games like Gran Turismo 7 that we set up the PlayStation 5 calibration menu with the right values. And when you're now asking yourself why I stopped on step 22. The only reason is because we reached already 2600 nits. And right now there's no consumer TV which can display this brightness. That's the reason. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much for watching me. And again, like, subscribe and share my content. Thank you very much.